We're a few days away from getting even more students back in the classroom, Kirsten. That's right. On Monday, the Clark County School District will welcome back grades 6th, 9th, and 12th in a hybrid model. Kate Houston went to Valley High School to get a first hand look at what students can expect on their first day back. Next week, 49 high schools will welcome back students for some in person instruction. I'm really excited to welcome some of the freshmen back like, to campus who have never been to campus before. Valley High School math teacher Lauren Engel hasn't seen students in person in over a year. Only nine kids will be seated in her classroom at a time with a designated seating chart based on their cohort. Cohort A will get kind of a red band, and then cohort B will get a blue band. Principal Ramona Esparza is providing students with color coded arm bands and requiring teachers to display attendance in the classroom. So that we know exactly which student was there that day, just in case an incident were, were to happen, a test positive, then we can go back and contract trace. Foot operated hand sanitizing stations will be placed around the school. Some doors have been modified with these levers, which require individuals to use their forearm to open it. Students and staff will only have two ways to get into the school to cut back on contact. We want learning to be fun, and it's been just a, such a different year for everybody. So we want to say to them it's safe to come back. We're here for you. We are ready to receive you, and we're going to finish this year strong. CCSD has not made modifications to the current reopening plans. When asked about the CDC now allowing students to sit three feet apart instead of six feet, they said that could depend on classroom size. Depends on how many students are coming back for a particular class and the size of the classroom. But we will space as much as we can. Kate Houston, 8 News Now. CCSD is also working on end of year activities. Each school will lay out its own graduation plan. When it comes to prom, the district says it will depend on current safety guidelines, but they'll give some updates ahead of time.